Well, hey, 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 it's your boy Crafty. Doing another episode of My PC. In this episode, one of my top five PC of all time, uh, Jeff Bagwell. Uh, you guys know I like him a lot. So I'm going to show off a big group of my cards of his. Got some more somewhere, but this is just a nice little selection. Alright, let's see what I got here. If you start off with uh, 93 tops. Right there. We got four of those. So yeah, I'm not one to just show off super high-end things. I collect base cards. I like base cards. I like all the cards. I don't worry about what they are. I just like to have them. Alright, so the next one we got. This is Topps Rookie History. And this is 91. Uh, we got two of these right here. Alright. It's the Topps 40. We got this one here. Three of these. Looks like 96. Tops 96. Do, do, do. Got three of that one. And that's tops 95. We have here Tops 94. I don't even know what order I have these in, so. Tis what tis. Alright, this one is, uh, this one's 92 Tops, the cup card. I've got this one, and I've got the gold version. So, very cool. Alright. And we got three of this. This is Stadium Club from 92. The member's choice. Got three of those. Got three of these from 96 Pinnacle. Pinnacles are pretty sweet cards. You've got the 92 Pinnacle, right there. Uh, 96 Pinnacle, right here. Then we've got three of these. These are... Uh, what do we got? 95. These are Sport Flex cards. The ones that move around a little bit. Got three of those. And apparently, this one, this, I have six of these. These also are like a 3D UC3 cards. So that's cool. Alright, then we got 95 Pinnacle. A few of those. Like I said, I'm definitely not just into high end. I like the base too. And I collect whatever I can. Uh, this is 96 Pinnacle. Got a couple of those. I figure when you like someone, why not just collect other stuff? So, uh, this is a very cool one here. Alright, this is Pinnacle Certified. Lots of stars. Still got the protective cover on it. Very shiny. Another pinnacle going Jake. 
Like how his name's lighting up on the side over there. 95 select. Right there. We got these two pinnacle. They are 92. A couple of those. Select certified. Cool. Uh, this one's from Zenith. That one, very minimalistic front. Not much going on. Looks like 90, 97 right there. Then, for two of these, this is 92 Fleer Ultra. A couple of those. And then 93 Fleer Ultra. Thanks to everybody out there that helped me get these and get my collection moving. This is 96 Ultra. That's what it... 95 actually it looks like 95 and 96 that's weird it almost looks like it's the exact same picture but clearly it's not but it looks really close so there's those two then uh, Fleer 95 Then we've got Splendid Fleer Splinters. This looks like 2003. All right. Uh, Lumber Company Fleer 95. It says one of 10 down here. So it looks like some small little series there. Uh, we've got Franchise Focus. Out of Fleer. Cool. Got a place in history. And this is a Fleer 3030 Club. Right there. And then we've got the Fleer 93. This Fleer 95 Fleer Award winner. That's actually raised up. That's really cool. I like that card. And then this one. This is Bagwell and Paul Molitor on the other side. We've got the Fleer 92. This is a pillar. This is a motion out of 95. Okay, we've got Fleer 97. Cool. There's a Bowman Chrome. This one's super shiny. That's nice. I like that one. That's 2003. And another Chrome. Another Chrome right there. Why are Chrome cards so cool looking? So cool looking. Here's another. This is Bowman's best. This looks like 2000. Another super shiny. And then we've got another Bowman's best. Got two of these. These are Bowman 93.
Got this one. This one's crazy. This one's from uh, Pacific. 94 Pacific. But look at that thing. That sucker dances in the light. Yeah. You make it disappear or make it dance. Alright, we got uh, this is 92 Classic. Another awesome one. I've uh, got some uh, minor league cards here. New Britain. That one's from Star, obviously. And then we've got two of these. New Britain Red Sox. Couple of these. Pro cards. And a couple of these. Also pro cards. Different year, but it's the same exact picture as the, the last pro cards I just showed you. Look at that thing. That one's sweet too. This is from Holographics 92. It's not not one of the big name places, but it sure does look neat. Right there, you can see Hollow Prism for that one. Okay, we've got score 95. Hope you guys like Bagwell, otherwise you probably wouldn't be watching this video. And if you are watching the video, you may not have gotten this far. So I appreciate every one of you that's still here. Uh, score right there. This is a tiny little card. It's too small. I can't even read on the back what year it is, but got this little mini. Uh, okay. Oh, it says 2001 up here. So that's a 2001 little mini. We've got two of these. 94 Flare. Flare were cool. Those are thicker cards. and. They cost a little more back then, and I, if I remember, they came in that uh, little cardboard slide-out box. There's a post-rookie star bagwell there. And then this is Hostess, Hostess card, uh, which is right there. kind of looks like the Donner's 86 if I had to compare it to something. And we've got three of his Tops Star Power cards. We've got two of the Stadium Clubs right here. Got this Profile cards. This is uh, Tony Gwynn's Pro players, and this looks like 96, so he made it to that. All right, this is a uh, another stadium club. That one's pretty neat, right there. Showcasing his swing in the five different pictures. It's called cause and effect. This one is a 2015 Tops card there. That one's cool. All right. And then we've got 2018. Right there, Instant Impact. We've got his 93, I believe that's the black gold, tops black gold right there. Followed by Stadium Club from 91. He looks so young there, it's crazy. That is so long ago, 91, that's crazy to think about. 2018 Allen, Allen and Ginter, right there. Uh, 
Another stadium club. We've got the tops 50 years. It's um, 2001. Says top 50 there. Got a finest. And this one's actually still got the peel off protective label on it as well. I try to keep those on when I find a card with it, it stays there. All right, this one is 90, it's a 95. The D3 moves it around a little bit, has a tiny 3D effect. We've got his 2006, 1975 version. 75s were such sweet looking cards. All right, this one's out of Topps Heritage. I got 2002 Topps. This one's see through. That one's really cool. Nice little acetate card out of Topps there. Very nice, very nice. All right, then this was interesting. This is 95 tops out of Stadium Club. I've got a couple of these. Uh, you can let me know if anything. I didn't even know they did this back then, but this one, you can see everything is red. The logo's red, the words, the letters, everything is red. But I have the exact same card, and everything is rainbow. So I don't know if that was just the colors were different, or this is like a special one because there's nothing different on the back that tells me it's a special one but clearly it's different colors all right then we got upper deck we got four of that one more upper deck that one Plus all those, yeah. I think if I recall, I collected a lot back in the day of 93. These are probably 93 upper decks, yeah. All right, got this one, got a lot of those. Some of them, I don't know why I quite have as many as I do, but here's a 94 upper deck. Two of this one. This is 91. It's got no major league record. It's just got his New Britain stuff on it. But there is that. Two of those. This is another upper deck. This is a really awesome looking card right there. Shiny, shiny. All right, we have a bunch more from Upper Deck. That's the Astros team card. Well, the Shooting Stars card, but I have a bunch. We've got more from Upper Deck. Three of these. These on there. Uh, we have here SP Authentic. That one. We've got this upper deck. This is actually a uh, a relic card, leading swatches. So we've got that one in there. After all, I am the relic hunter. I would hope I would have a Bagwell relic. There should be another one in there too. This one's interesting. It's a upper deck. It's you make the play interactive cards. Uh, got that one, and then. Other, other relic here. I uh, got this one right here. Got a nice little pinstripe on it, so that one's really cool. We've got 
this upper deck right here. Two of these. These are rookie threats out of upper deck. And then we've got the two studio, like so. We've got four of this one. This is 92 leaf. Four of those. We've got his Leaf 97 Legacy card. Almost done here. Got two of the 92 Donruss. This is the Rookie of the Year card from 92 Donruss. Got three of those. We've got two from 94 Fleer. Fleer. I said Fleer. It's Leaf. Two from 94 Leaf. And then two from 93 Leaf. We're just about done here. We've got three out of 96 Leaf. Got the triple play. 92. This is the triple play from 93. And we've got him on a checklist card. Um, got this one from Donruss. Very cool. And we've got the Leaf 95. These are some of my favorite cards really like them. Got two of the Diamond Kings from 91. This one is a 95 leaf. Great gloves. And the last one is A, uh, looks like a 90, I can't even see that. It's 95 Donners. Uh, it's from Studio Gold. It's the credit card looking ones. With It's got raised stats, raised uh, this on here. Very awesome. Looks like an actual credit card. Uh, so there you go. That is my Jeff Bagwell collection. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, just a question because that had a whole bunch of cards and it is like 25 minute video. If I make these in the future of different players, should I cut that in half so the video is half as long? Or should I make a real long one like this and hope people make it to the end? Uh, give me your thoughts down below. Leave a comment. Let me know you watched. Like, subscribe, all the fun stuff. And I will catch you in the next one. See ya.